Number seven, you're gonna find the product. You're gonna notice these two share a very similar pattern. So let's just distribute x times x, x times x. Then you have your x times negative 10. So negative x times, oh, so it's x plus x parentheses negative 10. 10 times x, 10 times x. And then the last one, 10 times negative 10 parentheses negative 10. All right. x times x is x squared. x times negative 10, negative 10x. 10 times x is plus 10x and negative 10 plus negative 10 is negative 100. These two does combine getting you 0x. Bring everything else down. x squared plus 0x minus 100. No one writes that 0x so it is just x squared minus 100. Okay. And b. Distribute 2x times 2x. 2x times negative 1, so 2x times negative 1, 1 times 2x, and then 1 times negative 1. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 1, it is a negative 2x. 1 times 2x, it is a positive 2x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. These two combine to get you 0x, bring everything else down, 4x squared and then negative 1. No one writes that 0x, so the final answer would just be 4x squared minus 1. C. Let's distribute x times x. x times negative 3y. 3y times x. And then 3y times negative 3y x times x becomes x squared. Um, x times negative 3y becomes negative 3xy. 3y times x, it is a positive 3xy. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9yy, so it becomes y squared. These two are like terms, okay? Getting you 0xy, bring everything else down. X squared plus 0xy minus 9y squared. No one writes that 0xy, so the final answer is just x squared minus 9y squared. That would be the final answer, okay? So there you go. These are actually all special um, polynomials that you're multiplying because the middle term here um, actually got canceled out.